Hi, welcome back to the Pink Couch Series. I'm Dr. Elizabeth Arguelles, a board certified breast surgeon at Southwest Florida Breast Surgery. Today I'm joined by Dr. Christina Mirabeau Beal. She's a board certified radiation oncologist with Genesis Care. Today we're going to talk a little bit about breast cancer and mastectomies. So a lot of women come in and they're very worried about having a mastectomy. And I tell them that the only reason why you really need to have one is one, if you have a super high genetic risk of having breast cancer again, two, you have a really large tumor and your breast size is small, or if that is what you choose to do to treat your cancer. We have lots of different techniques on how to make the mastectomy heal better, including nipple sparing mastectomy, and we can offer, even offer reconstruction with implants or tissue flaps. So I find that a lot of times women actually ask me if they can have a mastectomy so that they can avoid having radiation. Is there any time that a woman would have to have radiation after a mastectomy? So unfortunately, there are some times when there can be adverse risk features where we're worried that our patients will still have a high risk of recurrence unless we do additional radiation. So situations where that occurs are when the tumor is large, so greater than five centimeters. Um, also, if the patient has positive margins at surgery, so we're worried that there could be tumor left behind. And then also if there's lymph nodes involved, uh, those are all independent risk features to have higher risk of recurrence. And so radiation therapy is indicated to make sure women have a successful cure rate. So if you've already removed the whole breast, is radiation then more risky for the patients? It's not more risky, but there definitely are some different nuances. So without an actual breast mound in place, we end up treating what's called the chest wall. So that ends up being the skin and the muscle down to the, almost the rib interface, and then also the lymph node basins. And so the skin reaction that's associated with radiation can be particularly intense. But we have a lot of newer technology, including IMRT-based therapies, as well as newer machines that have more sophisticated onboard imaging. So we're actually able to create a dose gradient that really paints the dose in such a way that it can actually minimize the skin reaction somewhat. That sounds good. So what about if somebody decides to have reconstruction with either an implant or a flap? Can you still give radiation? You can. Um, it's best done in a multidisciplinary discussion where we have surgeons working together with plastic surgery, together with radiation, to coordinate a very personalized treatment plan for the patient. Um, so especially if, a, if an implant is the goal, a lot of times patients end up having an expander in place to stretch the skin, and we can offer radiation over that. And then if there's any skin tightening or skin reaction, we can accommodate and adjust things accordingly so a woman gets a very symmetrical, cosmetically pleasing outcome. And when native tissue is used, and we're talking about a more flat-based reconstruction, we still sequence things with radiation with the goal being to cure the cancer, but we often have to adjust expectations and emphasize skin care in a particular way to make sure that, again, the cosmetic outcome is satisfactory as well. I have to say, I'm really glad that I get to work with Dr. Miramobile down here in Collier County and Lee County through Genesis Care in a multidisciplinary fashion to treat our breast cancer patients. I do hope you'll join us again as we continue our Pink Couch series. 